Welcome to this presentation on the online resources available to you through the University of Washington Health Sciences Library. The Health Sciences Library has a wide variety of online resources available for you, databases and tools to use, and library guides to help you use them. We also have library personnel who can assist with questions of all sizes. To access any of these, head to the HSL website. But first, whether you're based in Seattle or elsewhere in the region, if you're off campus, you're going to need to take a step to connect. You can start at the Health Sciences Library website and log in when it asks for a login. Anything with a little gray lock symbol will require you to log in. If you'd rather start at the resource itself and not get to it from the HSL website, you can use the off-campus proxy bookmarklet to log in and then go right back to the resource. Or you can use Husky OnNet, which lets you log into the UW network when you connect, so you don't need to log into each resource separately. For most library resources, make sure you select the All Internet Traffic option for the server. I will show you what this looks like on the next slide. We also have a FAQ for off-campus access, which covers troubleshooting and questions of who has access. If you decide to use Husky OnNet, make sure your server is set to All Internet Traffic. If it is not, click the Change Server button, select All Internet Traffic from the drop-down, then click Next. Our toolkits are collections of materials and tools assembled so our patrons in different health sciences disciplines can have quick access to the resources they are likely to find most useful. You can use any of them, not just the one that matches your field. If you need a type of information that is outside your familiar range, think about which discipline would have the answer to your question and check that toolkit. For comparison, here is the Health Provider Toolkit and the Public Health Toolkit. Both have database links for looking for articles. Care Provider? You can see here some clinical decision support and drug interaction tools, plus search tools for evidence-based medicine. Over in the Public Health Toolkit, there are health statistics resources and gray literature searches to find sources like white papers and reports. Our mobile resources page has the tools that you use during patient care, whether you're doing that face-to-face -face or by telehealth. There are several of the popular clinical decision support apps, as well as tools for drug interactions, immunization schedules, and patient education. Also, medical news and study aids, and even podcasts. Our library guides are collections of tools, how-tos, and course information. We've grouped the guides by topic so it's easier for you to find what you need. In the student and course guides, we've gathered material useful for coursework across the health sciences schools. Or if there's a literature review in your future, check out the database searching guide, which contains search tips and instructions for some of the commonly used databases. Or the citation management tools guide for help using EndNote, RefWorks, or other citation managers. We have over 200 databases listed in the HSL website. On the library homepage, we have links to some of the frequently used databases such as PubMed and CINAHL Complete, plus a link to our full database list. The full list will also tell you a bit about what each database covers. All of our databases provide links to the full text of an article or a way to order the article. These are available in a few different ways. For some results, the full text article will be available in the database itself. These may appear as HTML full text, PDF full text, or sometimes both. Sometimes the database will provide a link to the full text at the publisher's website or in PubMed Central. If the database does not provide the article or a link to the article, look for the Check for Full Text button. Clicking the Check for Full Text button will either take you directly to the article or to the page in the UW Libraries catalog from which you can access the article. If the Check for Full Text takes you to the library catalog page, you will find something like this. The catalog page will say whether UW Libraries has it, and we often do. Below View It are the different collections the article can be accessed through. If it's not available through any of our online collections, you can submit a request for a digital copy using the links under Additional Services. The Health Sciences Library personnel are also an online resource. Contact a librarian will take you to the list of librarians assigned to different specialties. Ask Us will take you to a variety of ways to get librarian assistance. Our chat form works 24-7. UW librarians answer your question during our business hours. Our library is part of a national cooperative reference service, so if you have a 2 a.m. question, there will be a specialist there to help you. 
If they aren't able to find your answer, it will be forwarded to the UW librarians for the next day. You can also contact a subject specialist librarian. Not sure how to improve your search results? Need help planning your systematic or re literature review process? We can work on your question by email or phone, or meet with you over Zoom. If you have questions about any of these resources, or any other questions about the Health Sciences Library, please let us know. We look forward to working with you.